there's nothing like a good night's sleep out in the wilderness with no distractions and just the sound of nature to keep me company. I better grab some more supplies for my survival kit though. Rope. I better eat something to keep my strength up. Uh, banana. Perfect. And of course my sword, just in case I need to fight my way through the overgrown bush or worse, have to defend myself against some disgruntled animals. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Time to head off on what hopes to be the final stage of this crazy adventure. I've been searching for the catacombs for weeks now, but my map tells me that I should only be a few hours hike away. Whew, this is a tough trek. I'm not even sure what the entrance to the catacombs will even look like. It's been nearly a hundred years since the last human found this place, and they kept it a really well kept secret. Uh, wait, th this could be it. Oh my goodness, it is! It's the entrance to the catacombs! I can't believe I found it. Now that the hard work is over, the fun can begin. It's time to go exploring. This place is insane! It's so old and freaky. Oh no, I need to get my sword from my backpack. Take that! And that! Take that! Spiders! Oh, I hate spiders. Okay, I think I got them all. Whew, that was a close one. Good thing I'm an experienced explorer and remember to bring my trusted weapon. Oh, this place is covered in cobwebs. I need to just slice my way through. Oh, whoa. whoa. What is that? It's beautiful. It seems to be some sort of ancient egg. Oh, I wonder what's inside. Could be a dinosaur or oh, even an alien. Maybe I should bring it home and investigate it further. Now this is a perfect place for such a beautiful piece of history, although I still don't know what it is exactly. I think I should get an opinion from an expert. Hmm, I'm gonna make a phone call. Hello? Hi, is that Mr. Dell, the archaeologist? Yes, this is Professor Dell. How can I help you? Great, uh, I got your number online and I have some questions. So, my name is Little Lizard and I'm an explorer. I recently returned from a very important expedition to the catacombs. Wait. Did you just say the catacombs? Nobody has been in the catacombs since the late great explorer Hicker. Yeah, well, I found it. It's awesome. Anyway, what I was calling you for is that I found this egg thing. Now, I've brought it home and I was wondering if you'd come over and have a look at it. I'll be right over. Well, that was quick. Professor Dell, welcome to my home. Yes, yes, thank you. Now, bring me to the egg. Um, okay, it's right this way. Follow me. Here it is. Oh my goodness. It's incredible. It's beautiful. It's positively gorgeous. You must destroy it. What? 
Boy! You have no idea what could possibly be inside that egg. You could be unleashing the biggest evil this world has ever seen. And I tell you now that I will not be a part of it. I sincerely hope you make the right choice. A good day, little lizard. Hmm, what an odd little man. I'm not gonna take any notice of him though. What would he know about ancient eggs anyway? I'm gonna do my own research. I'm going to the library to see what I can find out. Oh well, it's been a while since I've been in one of these. It's so dusty and old in here. I'm sure to find what I'm looking for. Okay, so I need to find a section on ancient runes. Hmm, no, not here. Um, uh, not here either. Oh, here it is. Oh, they have a book on ancient. This book is perfect. It tells you everything you need to know. I'm gonna head home and see if I can hatch this thing. Now, let's see what you have to say about my egg. Okay, so it says here that it's a dragon egg. Excellent! To hatch it, I simply have to wave my hand around it and say the word toothless three times. But there's some smaller print here. It says, under no circumstances should someone untrained or uneducated in the art of egg hatching attempt to hatch an ancient egg. Uh, I'm sure that part's not very important. Toothless, toothless, toothless! Uh, oh, he's huge! Uh, I, I don't like this, this is a terrible mistake. I'm locking them in there, and I'm, I'm never letting them out. Uh, well, I suppose he's kind of cute. Okay, gentle, gentle, oh he likes it, I guess he's not so scary after all, hmm, he's so friendly, I don't know what the silly Mr. Dell was talking about, Toothless is going to be my new best friend, wait, if Toothless is a dragon, and dragons can fly, then surely, This is amazing! I'm flying! I'm actually flying! Oh, look how high we are, Toothless! I'm so glad I found you! We're gonna be friends forever! Now, let's get back to home before we cause too much of a commotion. Well, there's been quite a commotion here in Greenfields today where it seems a dragon has been spotted flying through the air. What's even more strange is that reports have indicated that this dragon was being flown by some sort of reptile known as Little Lizard. There'll be more information as we gather it. Oh my goodness, no! This can't be! That was Toothless! I need to find Little Lizard! Toothless rightly belongs to me! 